Hello and Hello. welcome to my very special video that a lot of people have been anticipated for. So, I am Techno Lads and I am joined by a very special guest today, BOB Gaming. Hello everyone. But yes, me and him have been working on a very special project together for around two to three weeks. Yeah, it's yeah, been a couple of weeks now. Yep. So I don't really get started. So I did not do a great job with the terraforming, but I did try my best. So jump on the flying machine and let's press the button. Now this is a bit glitchy on multiplayer world, so do we want to get a boat? Uh, that might be a good idea. Jump in the boat. Um, we might... I'm in. Okay, I'm just going to move it slightly backwards and I can't press the button. Can you press the button? Uh, I don't even see the button. <laughs> I'll just jump out for a quick second. Why aren't we going down? <laughs> oh, there we go. Just a bit lucky. You still there? Still there? Yep. Okay, uh, that's why we weren't going down that fast. <laughs> the bo a boat got stuck in the flying machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yes, guys. But yes. If you have watched my trailer, then I... And I have done some updates since then, but this is a our smartest base in Minecraft on Bedrock Edition. But yes, you can just stand in the middle, press the button to get your armor. No, no I did, okay. Okay, that should be it. So I got a pickaxe, two totems, a sealed, and a full set of diamond armor, as well as a diamond sword as well. So I'm going to put all of that back. So I did not sew that contraption in the original, in the trailer. And you know what else I didn't sew? The, um, um, I believe this is the firework rocket dispenser. So, well, not dispenser, so, dropper. Well, if you can hear a bit of echo, I, I do apologise. But yes, this should give this you, should. yep, exactly one stack of firework rockets. And if you press this one over here, it should give you 16 so, ender pearls. 16 ender. You might have to move might. slightly off it, so it isn't exactly like Mumbo's, but it is good enough. Okay guys, so B.O.B. has temporarily left us, and he will be back for the outro, but while we work on that, while he, while he is busy, I'm going to put some cobblestone into the item input, so we will wait for that. By the way, this is the super smelter. It is a pretty big super smelter, so if I just go in here you can see quite a bit of the redstone it is a bit messy for the redstone i will admit but all of these levers are turned on i don't remember creating this oh there's an actual cave here did not know that but yes so you that's a quick look at the redstone so can i get out of here Yes, I can. So now that you've seen a quick look at the redstone, I believe, yep, yeah, that's all of the buttons done from the item input. So if I just press this button here, hopefully stone starts going in. So I'm just cleaning up my inventory just a little bit. But hopefully in a minute or two, stone should start going in. Coming out. Yep, yeah, you know what I mean. Yep, so hopefully... Hopefully we should get a bit more than that. I think we should get around 15 to 20. We got 24. Okay guys, so I know this no longer looks as cool, but um, some of the items were getting trapped at the edges of the chest, so we had to move the um, water stream back one block, so it no longer looks as cool anymore, but you can somewhat see the bubbles, but at least it's functional now. So if you place the items in there, and you look in this chest, we should get both two stacks.
that is all of the acacia. So that means it is fully working now. now we also do have a pop-up crafting table, which is pretty neat. Again, it will go back down in a minute. We also do have the pop-up anvil, a classic. We also have the enchanting table over here. Now I put the enchanting table over here as we didn't, as we were being, um, well, not lazy. It's just that we already have a lot of redstone in this tiny area. I know it doesn't look like much. Okay guys, so if you just press the button here, you get a splash potion of fire resistance. So I'll just do it again. So you can see that it's two currently. Press the button and it's free. So yes, it does add one. It adds one. Um, it adds one potion at a time. So I will quickly show you the redstone. This is um complicated to say the least. We had to build a sorter, and we also needed a way to power the um. We also needed a way to power the the um, droppers that is well, droppers here. So we need a bit of piston thing here, and this is the it is very close with the pop up crafting table made by um, the bowtie man. I am not friends with him. I don't have his Discord, nor am I friends with him, but he makes brilliant tutorials. I will link his descriptions. I will link this his video in the description as well. This is Snappy's Snappy 207's funds and um, potion brewer. You might need to you might wanna yeah, you do need to add water bottles just occasionally. But once the potions are done brewing why? Ah, that's right, they have to. Why is there four never wall in there though? There should only be one. Same with the other ingredients. It is a tad buggy. Currently. Like, when you run out of potions, it will stack up. And I can't, and I don't want to redirect this lantern all the way up there. I mean, I'd, I don't know how I'd fit it past the flying machine. I don't know how I'd fit it past the everything here. If you're wondering why we needed this many hoppers though, it's so that we could fit the storage system and link it up to everything. So the first one is the gunpowder, I think. Then it's the redstone. Then it's the magma cream. Then it's the neverwar. And then the last one is for the water bottles. This is the um, the sawing system as well. We also have one on the other side, and we do also have a chicken cooker, which I have right here. This is OMG Chad's design, but I did slightly modify it just so it just so it dispenses quite a few eggs at once, because his design only dispensed an egg at the time. But let's say a chicken laid like five, sixteen eggs at once. <laughs> Unlikely, but still, it would suit as much as it possibly could. I, I think it actually did all 16, which I think is actually really good. But yes, guys, so full lem tutorial will be up by the end of this month. I know I said it would be up today, but when you're building something that complicated, I can't do a tutorial on it in two weeks. I mean... I mean, maybe, unless the Bowtie Man, Bowtie Man, if you are watching this, if you want to do the tutorial for me, by all means, do it for me. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. But yeah, guys, if you do want to have a look at this for yourself, the world download will be in the description, okay? Okay, guys, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know B.O.B. didn't appear at the much of it, but at least he's here for the outro. I was, I was here for for some of the development at least of the uh, of the project and that's the fun part for me <laughs> yeah but anyway guys if you have enjoyed this video so much um video a lot and you would like to 
see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell. And also go subscribe to B.O.B. who helped made, make the flying machine for me because I was struggling just a little bit. And also helped me with quite a lot of the other redstone, redstone bits. And quite a lot of quite a lot of these that was included in here was his own design. So huge thanks to B.O.B. Thanks. Hey, you're very welcome. Mm -hmm. But yes, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye! Bye.